Hi and welcome to the second part of this tutorial. Uh, before we go to the object export, I want to do a quick test with the FBX again, but this time I want to use the texture atlas to export the map, only one map or the better say two maps, the opacity oh, no, that's the wrong hit outer range and accept that, now the, the whole mesh is unwrapped into one texture I don't change here anything, uh, I hope we'll with get OK I accept that and here I only take the opacity and the diffuse map give them a name say that Victoria new and save this map on this location that's the files from tutorial before as you can see now there is a subfolder that's from the export from tutorial 1 in this folder are also maps included when you import the FBX file in 3D Studio Max it automatically generates a subfolder where the maps are inside you can see it here but uh, when I go here into the nor normal explorer you can see this folder contains all the maps from the previous export now we, d we make a new folder called it also Victoria New and put the maps in this folder now we export the figure as FPX again and don't embed the textures we have the textures already exported and we don't need them again just the figure and these two options it accepts and let's take a look maybe the RAM usage is now not so high as before maybe I don't know let's check this and import that figure Victoria New on this file same settings as before and now take a look on the RAM It also takes so long than before. Huh. It's really time consuming this import. And now, yeah, the amount is not so high as before. It was only increased by. 0.8 gigabytes it's not so high than before also this is a improvement the figure is here I rotate that 
Well, the viewport isn't fast at this time. And see what's happened. Everything seems okay. I'll make a test render. Yeah, it's okay. It's no fault on the model. Now I check the material editor. Get the material from her. And there is a multi material with also 29 sub object materials. But we can go to enhance this with uh, self made material. I made, yeah, I start with the standard material. And I take the map we have exported before from the texture atlas. There are these two maps. I choose the diffuse map. Apply this map, this material to the figure. And it shows up. But with the eyes there is uh, another problem. I call this body material. The body seems okay. Now I duplicate that, make a copy. And also take here the opacity map. You can see on her eyes, this, this is uh, this map that is used for the eyes. It's not that that should be. When we go and check the image, you can see the iris here. This, actually the map that was used for the eyes are these two points here, this one and this one. That's a very primitive version of the eye. It should better take this, these iris maps. But we, I think we can fix that with our second material here. Now first I hit F4 to select the mesh wire. There is a skin modifier on it. Yeah, that's with the FPX import it generates a skin modifier for the bone system. I go back to edit table poly. Choose element and select her body. The nail tips are not selected. I select them too. Now everything is selected except the eyes. I give them ID number one. Choose select invert to select the eyes and the eyelashes and give them a material ID to now I'm going back. Mesh is moved to the bone meshes backwards. Hit the four to remove the lines. And now comes the trick. I make a multi sub object material uh, here and place this body material first at the number of two and place it on the ID one. 
And this second material with the opacity map in it, I drag to the second material. Now I apply that to the model, still selected, I guess, yeah, should be, make a test render. And now, what we have done actually, we have give her only the diffuse map on the ID 1 to the body and the second material with the opacity map for the eyelashes on the second ID. Now I hope the eyelashes showing up. Yeah. And also the better the right iris map or also right applied so that's the trick that's all you can also uh, render out additional maps like specular maps or bumps ma bump maps in this studio and apply it also on this material and place it here you can take all the maps that are possible and put in here in this material but uh, just for showing you uh, that's the trick